Hello everybody, this is Pam at the Paper Outpost and what am I showing you today? Hey, you want to mass make with me? I am playing with some index cards and I thought I would mass make a bunch of either pockets or journal card blanks just so I have some things that are at the ready and you can grab these and go and, and tailor them to the theme of your junk journal. Um, and this is a great way to use up scraps. So I got a few ideas here I just wanted to share with you. Okay, I've got some of these, uh, what I call the funky colors. We got some funky yellow and we have a blank side and a line side. So maybe I'm going to leave the line side out so somebody could write on it. I'm going to take my Scotch Create glue stick and I am just going to, I've got a glue mat. Do you see that? Yep. It's just a piece of waxy paper. It came on the back of something. I can't remember what it was, but I had a whole bunch of them. So I saved them and uh, you can use a catalog or anything like that or an old book. And I have a bunch of these little strips from an old book that we're working. This is actually from the, uh, the Heartthrobs book that we're working on. But I thought I would go ahead and just layer some of these up, use them up, and uh, they just look so pretty all together. I think I might layer in some white strips just to give it a little bit of variety. Okay. And maybe one of these. And it's okay if you use the rough edges. It actually gives a little bit of character. We like a little character. Sorry for the funny nails. I've been uh, acrylic painting and I just, you know, did a little reckless abandon. There was paint everywhere. That's all I can say. And maybe I'll get brave and show you what that looks like. We shall see. We shall see. Okay. And maybe a yeller. Okay. There we go. All right. Now we can trim these off. And I think I might use my craft knife for that. Yeah, I'm on squeaky chair. Sorry about that. I'm going to have to either oil this chair up or get a different chair because this is one chair that is talking back. That's horrible, isn't it? I know. I think it's like caving under my weight. <laughs> it's like doing the best it can. I said, I wasn't built for this. I wasn't built for this. <laughs> That's actually probably, was probably why I was only 10 bucks at the garage sale. Somebody please take this squeaky chair from my existence so I don't have to listen to it anymore. Well, though, then then up waddled me. What a deal. <laughs> And off it came. Off it came to our house. And uh, there you go. The rest is history. A little closer there. All right. Now you can do a lot of different things with these blanks, but they are a fan a tabulous way to use. I see. I like that little ridge there. I just think that is so appealing. You can make that sound. Let, wait, let me hear. For the ASMR folks. I'm holding it close to my mic, <laughs> but it gives it just such a nice little roughly feel. So I'm just going to make a bunch of these. If you want to grab your index cards and we'll do some different fun things with them. Just show you some different ideas. I have rambling about the old turnip here. Um, whoop, lost my glue mat. Okay. Now another little idea. Now this one is going to be more of a, um, um, oh, this is actually some cardstock, but it doesn't matter. Just something white would be good. And then maybe some half browns and then mixing in some whites, maybe different sizes, maybe with some browns. Okay. Almost building more of a, uh, Building more of a little um, shingle-like look. Okay, maybe there. Maybe here. And maybe here. And just a little patchwork quilt thing going on here. I like to lift you up, tuck you under there. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I got a different color here. This might work. Perfect. All right. So we have some little bit of oddness going on there. Let's trim this one up. We could do some fun things with it. We'll see where we go with that. You can cut these off or rip these. Okay. Keep your bottom still, Missy. So that chair doesn't drive everybody bananas. Do you think I have one? Oh, there. Maybe I'm going to slide to the edge. I think it's better. I think it's better when the whole patootie is near the edge. Hopefully I won't fall off. I have fallen off before. You ever fallen off your craft chair? That tells me that you're a serious crafter. If you have fallen off your craft chair, 
Um, uh, that means you're crafting a lot because it happens. We get so excited and we're reaching for things and da 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 da, -da next thing you know, wampo. <laughs> okay, so just some basic um, patchwork quilt designs. So we have, let me show you the difference. Straight up, patchwork quilt, all adorable, right? And they would take two seconds to make. They really are fun. Um, so let's just make some more. Let's stop moving my stuff around here. Um, okay, what else was I going to use in here? I got to lift up my glasses. Now we do have some. Let me incorporate a little bit of uh, whatever you have. I have this old journal, some pieces of it. So I thought maybe I might like to put some of that in here. Let's see how that goes. You could do the whole thing in, in journal or you could um, use pieces of it. Since this is a piece, a smaller piece, I might just sacrifice it. Um, I'm going to do thin ones. That might be fun. Thin strips. You could do thin strips, thick strips, you name it, you got it. Um, let me put a piece of white down first. White always gives nice contrast. Okay. There we go. Then what do we want? Some more white? Sure, why not? Well, maybe we'll do some torn edge looks. Give it a little old torn edge look. We do like that. Yes, we do. And it gives a nice contrast. There we go. Uh, now we got upside down journal. That's okay though. Because it's all art. So you can, you can do anything when it comes to art. It's just like, yeah, you just do what you want. And there we go. And we have this last little thingy here. And we'll decorate them up a little bit more as we go. We'll just get another little thin strip here. Um, let's see, what were they, what were they doing on these papers? $1.75 for sh mat and shoe, it looks like. So somebody bought a mat and a shoe. I guess they only bought one shoe. It just says shoe. All right. Meat. Meat mat. I don't know. <laughs> it's confusing. What were they thinking back then? Those crazy folks of yesteryear. Um, I think they were having a lot of fun out there doing crazy things. And I think that we can decorate these up in lots of fun ways. So hold on to your hats. We'll do fun things with them. Maybe we'll do these three, decorate them up. And if we have time, we'll do some more. Okay. So this is kind of a use up your scraps day. Anybody got scraps? Anybody? Um, yep. <laughs> lots of them around here. See, even these, I'm just like, oh yeah, we gotta do stuff with that. Um, okay. And that little rough edge, I might leave that because I kind of like the way that hangs off the bottom there. Yeah, I just kind of like that. Okay, so we have three so far. And I think I'm going to grab a couple of things. I have this cute little bucket of peg stamps. Um, they sell them on Etsy, but I, um, I got mine from Nora Jane on Etsy. Um, she has nice peg stamps. I, I've enjoyed purchasing from them from her. I have no affiliation or anything like that. I just liked her peg stamps. She has a good variety and they seem to be fair, fairly priced and they seem to be good peg stamps, honestly. And of course I had to have them all. No, that's <laughs> not all of them, but I got a lot. And, um, now you can do, okay, let's show you the difference between big stamp and little stamp on these. Okay. Let's try that. Okay. Let's try little stamp first. Oh, Pam, you are one noisy mouse today. Just quiet. Don't move. Don't move. Okay. Let's try some black soot. Always a good color to have in your bank if you don't have that one. Um, and I'm just going to do some random stamping. That's probably a better way to do this, but oh well. Maybe it's a random stamp. I don't know. I just think this is so pretty with the... Uh, oh, you're so far away. Come closer. Well, is that a little close? That might be a little close. There we are. Oh, there, there, there. Oh, come on. Is that? Okay. <laughs> so just kind of, you know, prettiness. And I remember hanging off a little. That's always the magic, you know, mixed media key. I don't know why it is. It just is. Just do it and you'll be thrilled with your results. Yes. <laughs> and uh, so there we go. Isn't, isn't that pretty? That's just so pretty, right? It's so easy. I mean, it's just so easy. It's, it's silly. It's so easy. So here we have a little space. Well, what are you going to do there, Pam? Well, I'm going to get a bigger stamp. You are. Yeah, I'm going to get this big butterfly. Yeah, that's a big butterfly, right? Okay, let's see what happens when we do a big butterfly stamp on here. 
Now this middle, tiny little thing, I might get covered with this. If not, I'll come in maybe with a some pen or ink or marker or a Stabilo pencil. We will just see. Okay, here to, there we go. Ready? And turn it. Okay, there we go. Probably should have used the foam mat. Not bad though, not bad. All right, we can still see the little green thing. Um, not much I can do about it at this point. I think I'm just gonna leave that, yeah. And uh, I feel, I just feel, maybe I wanna, I don't know, I just, let's see, let's just maybe ink it around. No, we better get the, we better get the dauber. Then that, that inking method never worked for me. I don't know why, just, it works for some people. Maybe they have super juicy ink pads. That's a possibility. Oh, I know what we're gonna do next. Okay, this will be fun. All right, here we go, here we go. All right, got a little peely uppy. We can deal with that. We got a little fabric fix here, or you could use the uh, Scotch Gate glue stick. That'll work too, or whatever glue you have. It's only paper and pretty much it'll glue anything. Yeah, there we go. Oh, it's interesting how the, uh, the glue made that ink pop there. That's neat. Um, okay, so we have something like that. I feel like I want to do more to it. Let's just have fun with it. Let's just like play with some basic things and see where we can take it. I'm going to grab my Stabilo pencil. Here I come. See now where, where I goob the glue, the Stabilo won't work on there, but maybe, just maybe, it'll work on the rest of this. I'll give it a little outline. That would be nice if I could draw a straight line. Okay, here we go. And I did, oh, okay, you're squeaking to high heaven, aren't you? Okay, I'm gonna get a, um, can you tell my butt is off it now? I know, I know. <laughs> okay, well, we're back on, sorry. All right, we have this, a little water. Okay, I just put a little water there, okay. Can you see that? I put a little water there right there q-tip water and we're off to the races just kind of follow along your line get a little more water let it dissolve it it'll probably dissolve some of your other ink too it's okay though it kind of gives a nice little oh, couldn't see any of that a nice little pop right now i'm in the water okay we're having a disaster here hello and it's squeaking okay where did i put my I have napkins. Oh, here. Kleenex. There we go. There we go. Okay, we're back. Everything's good. It's okay. Maybe, just maybe. Maybe we want to do a little shading on the edges. Maybe we're just going to, I don't know, I guess you could do this with the ink too, but I just want to try using this. I've never really tried this before. Oh, you know what else I want to do? I want to follow the lines of where the paper connects. I think that would be fun. Okay, let's see how this goes. It's gonna look like a, oh, what do they call that? It's some kind of uh, siding or something. I forget that, Wayne, not Wayne's Code, because there's some word for it. Um, uh, common in the New England homes, you know what I mean? Uh, there, there's a name for it, there's a name for it. Okay, here we go, boop. Okay, a little more water. Got it right on my mat. Probably not the best idea, but it's there. Here's the water, okay, here we go. Where do I put it? Oh yeah, on, along these lines. Along, just lightly going across where those were. Don't have to be super fancy or anything. And then maybe a little bit in the corners where I amped it up just a little bit. Just, did I do it there? I don't even remember. All right, there we go. Just, uh, yeah, there we go. Oops, can't pick it up. Glue it back down. Now we have that little guy. Oh, he's very easy to make. Nothing fancy, nothing spectacular, but he holds his own, don't you think? I think so. I think so too. Um, there's something nice about the neutrals and the creams. I really like them. And let's say you're not, oops, I keep running through the water here. Absolutely tickled pink with the, the little green thing in the middle there. You can always come along with your Stabilo and just color it in. All right, there might be a little glue in there, but I, I think that covers it in pretty well. Don't even have to. Um, oh, I didn't do this part here. I missed a spot. Okay. Oh, there's no spot. Look at that. Now, oh, see, see, who's watching me? Who is minding the children? Hmm? Who? 
Yeah, well, you were slacking. Yeah, you were slacking, totally slacking. Because apparently I was running muck. Yeah, okay, there we go. All right, a little more there. Is that good? Did I get everywhere? I think I got it now. All right. Just those little areas I missed. All right, there we go. Huh. Now we're talking. We got some intensity going on. And you can keep going and doing cool things. Oh, yeah, I, I, I get your point, Pam. Um, okay, so we did this one. And we did this one. All right, so what else did we do? There was a third one, right? Yeah, here it is. Okay, so now this one has some pretty ledger on it already. So maybe we're just going to stick with this one because it's already pretty the way it is. All right, look, I got my stickles. Okay, and I'm drawing from here. Let's see what some pretty colors would be. Um, I'm gonna go along with the themes of the, the neutrals and the pretties. This is a real, I use this one a lot. If you gotta get one, get brass. That's a good one. Yeah, get one of those. You, you don't need a hundred of these. No, not like me. Don't do that, you don't need it. <laughs> Save your money. Um, here's another good color. Bronze. Let's see if bronze is awake to play. Probably not. Okay, let's see. Oh, look, Brown wants to come out and play. Yes. So I'm just going to do some dots, and they don't even have to be everywhere, although they probably will be everywhere by the time I get done with it. Okay, let's just start with that. Okay. Whoop, couldn't see anything, could you? Sorry. There we go. So I'm just doing some little accents, right? And remember we talked to this yesterday. I don't know how it works on dry paper. It worked really well on a plasticized kind of paper. Well, let's just see. We're going to put some on our finger. And we're going to kind of smudge paint with it. I don't know what it's going to work like on paper, but let's let's try. Okay. Where is it? There it is. Oh, it gives a nice edging. Very nice. Dries pretty fast, so you got to kind of get moving. You know, there's no lollygagging. So if you're going to be a lollygagger, this is not for you. Yes, step aside. Okay, here we go. Because it's it's like almost like a plastic paint, I would say. All right, there we go. We're smudging. And if you smudge one of your circles, it's okay because you're smudging anyway, so it's, you could say it's part of the look. And that's what I would say. It's part of the look. <laughs> All right, we'll just put some on here. I can smudge right on here. How about that? That's, I think, is going to save a step. There we go. It doesn't have to be perfect. I think the more imperfect it is, the better. And let's try here just a little bit. Oh, I already have some there, so we don't have to go the whole way. Can you see? Yep. And we're smudging. Oh, that's very pretty. Oh, I like that. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Here we go. Very nice, huh? Just a little um, framed whatnot. Very cute, though. And you can add more to it. Like, um, let's, uh, well, we'll do that for the next one. I think we have time, right? It's only, oh, pisha, we have time. Let us make some more of these. Okay. So here's a yellow one. Nobody knows where the glue mat went. It's here. And let's glue another one of these babies down. We're just going to use whatever scraps are on the desk. Let me back up a little. I feel like I'm visually disturbing everybody here. Okay. There we go. All right. Working on this a little better today. Okay. Here we go. And we're inking. And we're inking. And No, we're not inking. We are gluing. Oh boy, <laughs> one of those days. Here we go. It's all good though, you know, it is. Even if you were inking and gluing at the same time, it'd probably come out all right. Um, all right, so I just have like this stuff hanging around. So let's just use up like the little, like nonsensicals. Here we go with the nonsensicals. Let's just put them down and see what happens. Because sometimes something wonderful comes out of the, the, when you have like next to nothing and you're just sort of goofing off. Let's try it. Let's just try it. All right, all right, we got that, that's good. Oh, not a thread, that might be com complicated. Oh, I see some yellow there, let me move in. Covered, all right, we're good, we're back in business. All right, there we go. Uh, maybe some white here, this is a little cardstock. It's okay if you had cardstock and copy paper, it doesn't matter, no, it's okay. Um, now, maybe we're gonna not go all horizontal, maybe we, some, some of them have to go like this. That's right, we're going to turn the tables on this stuff and get some random stuff stuck down here because that's just what happened. Um, 
Maybe I can tuck you under there. That would be cute. Can't get this one off my finger. Okay, here we go. And we're in. We're almost in. We're in. It's cooking good. Okay. All right, that was that was good. Stick down. Don't be standing up there like that. Um, but this yellow piece is kind of neat. I feel like I want to, maybe I'll come over at the end and just put them down. Um, here, I'll put you. Okay, all right, you're just, you're going to go there because that's where you are. Okay. Now what else do we have? Oh my gosh. Millions of pieces here. Millions, I tell you. Okay, what's this cute little piece? Are you folded? No, you're just a one -y. All right, then you're going in. Nope, no squabbling. All right, all right. Oh, he wants to squabble. And I won't let him. Nope. Here's a plain creamy. Very nice. I think I need some more white, though. Um, let's do some more tear edges because they look cute. And then we're going to pull out some big guns. That's right, which I have not yet revealed, but we will. We'll go for big guns. All right. Straight edge. I'll get you a torn edge. Okay, here we go. There we go. And you're down. And little bits and pieces and parts. Um, -num -num. There. Okay, you can go there. What else do we have? Oh, we have a whole bunch. There is no shortage. Maybe I need some more white stuff. Oh, I got white stuff right here. Yep. All right. Let's see what we got. Okay. Let's just do this guy. Maybe we'll cockeye you a little bit. And we'll just do a little random tear pattern here. Um, yeah, we need some of this stuff. Yeah, that's good. And you just kind of put it together like a puzzle, you know, and you just keep going. I mean, it, it seems like you think it would be tedious and all that, but no, it's actually quite fun. The whole thing is don't get over-focused on the big picture. Just, just have fun with the little bits and the little pieces and the little things on your desk and just use them up. You'll be surprised how much fun you have. I know it seems like it should be illegal and it probably is in some states. You know how some states are. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I think, I think there's, uh, there is, let's use this yellow one now. He's different. All right, let me just, should I, should I put you down across that? Well, I don't know if we're going that far. Okay, maybe, but I do want to do maybe something like that or something like that. All right, let's put you here. How far does that go down? Is that still on it? Yeah, let's cut off the extra to see what we're actually working with. I have completely gotten glue on the back of this, so I'll, probably cover that in some way, shape, or form. And a lot of fun can be had with an index card. You can do so many things with these little index cards. You can make little journals and little notebooks and little um, pockets and tags, things like that, that are, can be really, really, really super cute for your junk journals. Okay, we have that. All right, now, I think I need to glue you down a little bit. You're a little, a little, you know, going crazy here. Okay. There we go. Maybe you can roll your glue off if you got, I probably can't have dirty fingers. That's got a liquid pearl on it, but my fingers. Okay, there we go. So we can now have this. Now you're saying, well, what are you going to do with that, Pam? Okay, well, to, to do something, excuse the creak. Um, I'm going to grab some stamps. I just have a little pile of stamps here. I don't know. Let's see. And some find some little ones would be cute on here. Sometimes you think it's all about the big stamps, but no. no there's a lot of joy in the little stamps. Okay, so here's some little stamps. There we go. All right. And I've got this little, who is that? That's Canada. Hmm. I don't even know. Who, I should know who you are. I'm going to guess Captain Cook because it's always Captain Cook. So we're going to go with Captain Cook. Okay. And maybe we'll go for just some random spots, maybe crossing over two different colors. Oh, sorry for all the squeakies. I'm really going to try and keep this. Took a still. Don't move, fam. Don't move. Oh, that's a nice one. Another Canadian stamp, July 79. Oh, that's pretty cool. All right. On the old motherland. Here you go. Maybe put this on an angle. They don't have to go straight. No, 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 no. All right. So, um... It was something festive. How about a season's greetings? Right? That's a cute little stamp. All right, let's do that. So you can do stamps. You can do big rubber stamps. You can do little rubber stamps. You didn't stick very well. Okay. 
Maybe over here. How about here? There. Whoop, too tall. I'll wrap you around. There we go. All right. So let's say we have that. Should we put a couple more on? Okay, we'll just make it a stampathon here. How about Queenie? Sure, you want to go on? Oh, Queenie's not feeling too good. I don't know when this video is going to come out, but I sure hope Queenie's going to be okay. Um, yeah, poor one. She's seen done, seen so much in her days. My goodness, I can't even imagine. All right, now we could stabilo. We could. Well, you know what I haven't done in a long time. Maybe this is this is a bad idea, but I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it with you guys right now. You know, I'm going to do something totally different. Yeah, this one I'm going to do. Okay, I'm going to come here. This was not planned. Well, maybe I'll do that. Okay, I'll just bring it all. Here it comes. I've got it. Oh, goodness gracious. This chair has to go. Okay, so um, this is a Tombow. I believe that's an alcohol marker. This is a Distress Crayon, which is like a water-soluble crayon. And this is a Stabilo pencil. So let's let's just... I feel like I want to surround everything that I did with the, let's see if this is, has any juice in it. I don't even know. Oh, it does. Okay. So you can come along and amplify and outline the things you did as another way to create appeal on your artwork. Get borders. Borders are always a bonus. Whoops. I went off the, I went off the stamp line there. Um, you know why? Because I don't have my glasses on. That's why. That's right. Mm -hmm. Good idea to wear your glasses. You can do this sort of thing. But so you don't always have to have the fancy stuff. You know, if you don't have the stickles and you don't have the aquarelle, maybe you've got a marker of some sort floating around. It doesn't have to be a, a Tombow alcohol marker. It can be any, any silly little marker that you can get your little fingers on. That's all it takes, really. So I'm going to go for all the intersecting areas where this little brick creation was made. Whoops, stay in the lines, Pam. Stay in the, oh, jeez. I'm tearing it apart as I'm making it. Yeah, it's all right, though. We just keep going. And this is just copy paper, an old book page, and we're just using what we have. We're creating something that didn't look like that. We're bringing in other element of color in it. Could have gone with a brown, could have gone with a black, but no, I went with blue because I'm always using the others. So I figured it's time that I uh, branch out. I'm, I'm going big and I'm going home. I'm already home, so I'm just going big. It's safe. Whoop, something fell. Um, poor Sonny, he almost got nailed by a roll of wrapping paper, um, but it missed him completely, thank goodness. I have to clean up my... Uh, tabletops a little bit more. We don't want any unforeseen, you know what I mean? Little certain things that happen. No, 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 we can't have that. Everything has to be safe for Sunny first and foremost. Yep, all the crafting will be put on hold at time. Okay, yeah, we're, we're getting close. Okay, now the question is, I, I actually think that's really pretty just like that, but what could I edge it in that would really be fancy town? What if I just grabbed, oh, I've got this this, uh, oh, I should not stick my finger in this, I know. But I've got some acrylic paint because I was painting. Let me just try to see what's going on here. Let me just come along here and put some acrylic paint on it. It's kind of an interesting look. Uh, all right, uh, it's just like leftover paint on my little painting board. I'm just gonna scrape it on here. Uh, oh, it's a messy process. But somebody's got to do it. Okay, just keep going. Was that much too much? Don't, no, just keep going. Don't go back. Just keep going forward. Okay. It's almost like snow or something around the edges. Oop. Oh, the blue is almost out. Okay. Oh, no, there's... What's that? Is that black? Oh, that's blue. Oh, there we go. I got a little white there, too. Oh, that's good. Okay, there we go. I can see this a little darker. I'm going to have to let this sit down and... Oh, can't see any of that, can you? Sorry. I'll let this sit down and dry. It's kind of like a little snow and ice covered edging. Okay. It's almost like frosting. It's thick, but it'll dry. And um, it'll dry a little flatter, not super flat, but we'll get, we'll get some flatness out of this. I'll show it to you, don't worry. And we're all done. 
All right, this is a weird technique. This is called just layering on the paint on the edges to create a little border. That's not walnut stain. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's, we're going, we got something different. We're not using ink. Boy, that's one noisy chair. Yeah, we'll do something about it. Don't worry. I'll find another chair. Okay, there we go. All right. That's what we got. Now I'm just going to let that sit. Let me back up a little bit so you can see my entire mess. Oh, there it is. Um, all right, let's put this here. You're still drying. So there we go. All right. Oh, yeah. Okay, we have you. We have the simplicity. Oh, Lord, will I just stay still? Okay. Oh, oh over there. So you can make really fun pockets, tucks, um, journal cards, side tucks. Um, why am I talking so quietly? I don't know. Um, yeah. Uh, there's number four. There she blows. All right. So we got all sorts of goodies there. So I hope you had fun. I'm not going to move anymore. Okay, there. I am still. Um, so I hope you enjoyed these. I'm going to give you a close-up little view so you can see what we made. Yeah. So welcome to everybody who's new. Thank you for everybody who's been around. Um, go ahead and tell me which one you like the best. Uh, did I go? Did I go too crazy on that one? Was that off? Off? You know, in the bushes. Um, I, I don't know. I like them all, actually. Uh, but anyway, if you had fun, please like, subscribe, and share. And my videos come out Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays, 7 a.m. Eastern Time. My podcasts, they come out Tuesdays and Thursdays. I have a free monthly emailed newsletter. Hey, if you haven't signed up for that, what are you waiting for? I'm going to send you a free digital image every single month. Yep, you just sign up once, and they will just keep coming once a month. There's going to be multiple sizes on one page. You can print out at home. And uh, you can use in your artwork any way you like. And um, I also have an Etsy shop where I have vintage digi kits, which are the printable downloads of many different themed um, kits. And um, if you don't have a printer, I have a print and mail option for you. So you just buy the print and mail option and then send me the list of 10 digi kits that you want. That'll get you 50 printed pages. And that is uh, mailed to you directly. It comes printed on a beautiful lightweight cardstock. And you can cut these out and use them as you wish in your artwork. And um, uh, I occasionally sell journals and bundles and fundles, which are collections of old papers and ledgers and uh, very interesting book pages and hand dyed papers. So you can use them in your junk journal making. And I have an Amazon shop with four sections now. It's got a favorites, a tools and supplies. It has a book section for folks who are interested in certain books uh, for junk journal making and also I have a craft storage section and Sunny's favorites my little pup has a uh, little favorite section and I have a Facebook group come and join the Facebook group we're having a lot of fun doing weekly and monthly challenges over there and um what else? I can tell you that I have a merchandise shop. Hey, if you want some cool merchandise that says Create with Reckless Abandon or the Paper Outpost on it, like t-shirts and sweatshirts and zip hoodies and totes and mugs and all that sorts of fun stuff, come on over there and check it out. And remember, most of all, that fun can be simple and create with reckless abandon. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye. <laughs>